welcome back to the channel this is Meredith if you are new here what I like to do is I like to be very upfront and honest about my spending um, so that's the type of video I'm doing today otherwise I also do subscription box spoilers let me know if there are any other spoilers you want me to do for you just leave a comment below I also do some subscription box unboxings mail unboxings that sort of thing and I'm also doing a blog series about real life as an office worker in New York City in a corporate job so if you're interested in any of that content consider subscribing and putting the bell icon on because because yeah it'll just be something fun to do together um, but yeah in terms of the spoilers um, I would like to say that if you are interested in anything like FabFitFun or um, Cosbox slash all true I typically try to get them out pretty quickly after they are released but I like to do a little bit of extra research just so you have any like information you need at hand whenever you make a decision about whether or not you're going to spend your money on that box um, so today I'm going to basically be showing you what I spent my money on in the past month um, so it's not quite yet on the vlog yet, but I'm working on the vlog series right now. Um, I was on fun employment for a week and then I was on a road trip with my parents the week after and then since then I've started a new job so I've been doing a little bit of shopping just to like do some stress relief. Otherwise I'm typically like a low buy no buy sort of person so um, I usually give myself a little bit of time off from the low buy no buy around August so that's probably why it's like this. So I usually um, do my low buy no buy until June and then it kind of lingers into July where I'm trying to figure out what I kind of need and don't need to put on my list for my next set of rules. So today, or this year actually, I extended it into August just because I knew I had some plans coming up and I was also in the process of changing my job so I didn't have any time to really spend any money and have fun in July. So I'm gonna to try to organize it a little bit but it's a little bit random so just bear with me. Grab a snack, grab some potato chips and some coffee. It'll be a fun time. Um, so I'm going to start with what my mom brought me from home. So it's in this box here. I don't want to dox our address or anything. I actually don't know if it has our address on it, but I just want to be safe. So she has been um, really upset with me because I haven't opened this yet. So I'm like the type of person when I be get back from vacation, I either have to unpack right away or, if I, or else it will take me like a month to unpack everything. And um, that's definitely what's been happening. So I think I went on vacation on August 16th that week. And then now it is like September 5th. Yeah, September 5th. So that is how long it took me to unpack. Everything's been sitting in my hallway and I just like, I've just been busy, okay? I've been busy. I started a new job a few weeks ago. And, um, so let me show you what my mom packed me. Um, so I requested these because I was having major difficulty. So as you know, Delta is back and things like that. So trying to find face masks in the city are very difficult to find right now and if you find them they're kind of either very low quality or else they're very very expensive so my mom picked me up a couple of them and uh, I just wanted some disposable ones just because um, I like to double mask when I'm on the subway and these are 220 packs and I'm on my last mask actually I just looked at this when I was putting away some things earlier so I'm on my last mask so this was a great time to finally open this box and then the next thing here is okay so foreshadowing I didn't know there were going to be potato chips in here but basically I love potato chips and I had requested my mom and dad because they decided to drive out here to New York from Minnesota that if they stopped any gas stations along the way and they found any like regional potato chips to buy me some and we would do like a taste test video so I didn't know they actually had some in that box that were that was in my uh, mom's car for like the entire road trip but these are some fiery hot fiery hot not fiery hot kettle chips from Circle K. I think Circle K is a Wisconsin thing. Oh no, it's not. It's Phoenix, Arizona. Totally wrong. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to try this out. I actually have a ton of potato chips. So the reason why I said that is because I know I purchased a lot of potato chips on vacation. So I will eventually do a potato chip taste test. I just have to figure out like the whole filming structure because um, chewing is very weird on camera. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Um, the next thing here is my mom was really upset that I hadn't opened these because I had requested these specifically for this trip. Um, she made me some homemade Chex Mix slash Party Mix and this is like one of my favorite treats so she made me a lot of them. So thank you to my mom. I'm going to be eating this and probably gaining like 80 pounds but it'll be worth it. And the final thing in here, actually there's a lot of um, peanut dust in there. Um, so to make this she gets the Spanish peanuts with like the, sh the shell on, not the shell. The skin on skin is the word um so yeah there's like the peanut skin in here so anyway the last item here is i think this is skincare okay yes 
So it is definitely skincare. So basically what had happened is Dr. Zenovia, I had requested them to update my, my address to my PO box, um, but they had actually just continued sending it to my parents' house. My mom has been collecting it for me. She keeps some of the products that she's interested in and the rest she puts in this box. Um, so I'm very excited for this. this this is a refill of the acne line and it's actually kind of like trial sizes so i 100 percent would recommend if you have any sort of any pimples i would say that this is a really great line i'm not just saying it because it's sent to me in pr but because i truly believe in the product and i've given some of my samples and products to my friends and they've tried it themselves and they've also paid their own money for it i've also paid my own money for it um so yeah i really really highly recommend especially if you're going back into work and you're masking and you're getting some me. Um, the products that I really enjoy in here have been the Blemish Soothing Moisturizer and I'll link it below. I'm not sponsored or anything. It'll just be a Sephora link. It's only available online at Sephora. And this product, um, typically whenever I've used acne products in the past, it's really dried out my skin and made it itchy. But this is super soothing. It's totally true. And my friend was also worried about it because I said, oh, I just rub it all over my face. And she's like, oh, I'm only going to put it right on my pimples. But then since then, I think she's been trying it on other places. The other thing is the benzoyl peroxide acne spot treatment. Um, so also similarly to um, the moisturizer, the acne spot treatments I've tried in the past have really, really, really dried out my skin. But this, even though it's 5% benzoyl peroxide, it's like not really drying out my skin at all, but it does clear up my pimples pretty quickly. Um, I haven't tried the acne um, cleanser yet, so I'll give that a go and let you know what I think about it. But so far, everything I've tried has been really nice from Dr. Zenobia. I like their eye, their eye treatment, eye cream that's retinol eye cream and then I also really like their um, moisturizer it's just like a regular moisturizer my mom has been liking it too the next item in here is oh okay I think this was the present from Ulta for my birthday my mom went and she uses my account sometimes and then she bought something and she got this for me I told her that she could keep it because I don't need it um, but it's the BB Bumble and Bumble hairdressers invisible oil it's a heat and UV protective primer it's for dry to very dry hair. So my hair is actually not that dry. It's just kind of normal. Um, but I will probably use this. I've heard really great things about Bumble and Bumble products. And then the final item in here is the acne spot treatment. So actually I'm gonna set this in a giveaway as well. Um, I just did an unboxing where I got something that's a repeat as well. So I will put that in the giveaway as well. So I have a giveaway pile started. Um, I'm going to use it when I hit a milestone. I haven't quite decided which milestone to hit before I do it, but it's going to be mainly skincare products and things like that. Um, but I do have a giveaway started, so I'm going to put this in that pile as well. Um, a lot of Dr. Zenobia products in there just because I'm really well stocked on Dr. Zenobia products because they're very generous. <sighs> okay, <laughs> moving on. So, oh my gosh, this is so heavy. So the next thing is this shoe box, but it's not shoes. Um, so it kind of is a nice segue into the next items that I'm going to be showing you. Um, so basically, I have a hobby since like childhood of knitting, but I'm not very good at it. Um, but I basically like knitting since I think I was in kindergarten. I think I used this as like my show and tell slash talent. <laughs> You know, like when you have like a talent show presentation. Um, so I just brought in my knitting samples and that was like my thing and I was like this weird five-year-old who did knitting. Um, so anyway, my mom had this box that one of her colleagues gave her because um, she knew that my mom knit. But my mom actually had all of these products already so she gave them to me. Um, so this is it. And she also put in some of the things that I had been collecting since childhood about knitting. And then on top of it is some information about my... Um, <laughs> My retirement plan so that that is not knitting related that was probably important um, so let me just show you here so I don't know why she sent these um, <laughs> I have some latex gloves in here um, I have plenty because I like using them for cleaning so I think maybe she just thought I want you to need more um, but then I also have this little bag here and in this bag I have some of my knitting projects that I've already started and then in this bag is some little sewing accoutrements it's like pins needles thread that sort of thing um i also have a sewing machine i haven't set it up yet because i haven't decided how to rearrange my second bedroom things like this really nice foldable scissors some um, crochet hooks etc <laughs> a pen <laughs> and then she also threw in some books so i have this book the stitch and ditch nation um i did make a couple of things out of here in the past 
There's also a coupon in here for $5 off a purchase of $25 or more. Let's see when this expired. 2005. So this has been in my life for a very long time. And then I also have in here um, all of those small little knitting accessories. You know, all of the things. And then let's see. Here is a knitting pattern, a day calendar from 2006. Um, but yeah, I basically have tried a few of these patterns and they're kind of fun, so it's kind of nice to look back on it, especially now that I am all set up here. Beginning crochet kit from Hearthsong. Does anyone else remember Hearthsong? I told one of my friends about it because she was like trying to find some creative presents for her kids' friend's birthday, but she didn't want to just get them everything that everyone gets them at like Target or whatever, you know, like LOL surprise dolls or whatever. And I mentioned this. I didn't realize it was still in business, but it is. But I would say this is a really nice website. I think that maybe they still have a catalog. It was catalog based back back in like 2003 or whatever. My mom got me this for Christmas. But um, yeah, it has a lot of really nice like learning activities and creativity sort of products and like outdoor fun activities if you're an outdoor person. Anyway, yeah. So I will learn how to crochet eventually. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. I'm bad at crocheting because you have to think too much when you do it and I like this turning off my brain. But with crochet, you have to count everything all the time. And then the rest in here is like all of the knitting needles. This is just a free ruler from the state fair. Um, but yeah, this is everything else in here. Um, so I have this now and I will have to reorganize my room just to find a place for all my knitting supplies because um, let me transition very uh, gracefully into the next stuff. This is a less than graceful transition, but look what I have. In my vlog series, you will see it, but I went to the outlet store. <laughs> let me set it down. Um, but yeah, basically there is a Lion Brand outlet store in New Jersey. So since my parents were driving, um, I met them over in New Jersey. I met them at the American Dream Mall. Very weird mall, let me just say that. Um, but actually, I'll transition into that next. I did buy some stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, I went to the Lion Brand outlet with my mom. Um, so this is like some of our more favorite yarn. Um, I guess it's like a family owned business. I didn't realize that because I thought they were just so huge, but it's family owned. Um, but anyway, that outlet was so good. It had so many different products. The one thing I would say is that since it is an outlet, it's like a true outlet. Um, they have some stuff that is not discontinued, but a majority of it is discontinued. So if you find something you like, make sure you buy way more than you think you need for your one project. So let me show you what I purchased. Um, I think I paid $70 for everything total, which is a really good price. So I decided that I'm going to try to make a sweater. Terrible color choice for my current sweater, but I'm going to try to make a sweater with this gray yarn. It's the Thick and Quick yarn. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like here. Um, and if you're a yarn enthusiast, it is 12 ounces, 340 grams, 223 yards, or 204 meters. And it's a super bulky, so it's a number six. And yeah, it was $5 per um, one of these skeins. So the next thing in here is something that I really wanted to find extras of, but I unfortunately couldn't. Um, but this is this, like a kind of like a tweety sort of fisherman's sort of thing. Yeah, it's called like fisherman's wool, perfect for felting, knitting, and crocheting. Um, so basically I wanted to make a sweater out of this, but there were only two skeins, so I just grabbed them anyway. It was just like, it was just typical me. It's like I had this idea and then I just grabbed it. So um, it was $9 for these two skeins, but this is really nice quality yarn. Um, so eventually I'll find out a project to make with this. Um, if you have any inspiration, leave a comment below. I don't really wear hats, so that's the other thing, and I also don't wear scarves. I'm a very bad winter person, but yeah. Um, otherwise, I'm going to try to look for maybe some solids that either the brown or the kind of cream colored white um, just to make it um, a sweater as well just have like block paneling okay that was bag number one so now I have bag number two um, so I also picked up a bunch of these mill ends um, so I'm going to probably try to make a not a quilt <laughs> A blanket for my sofa um, so it's kind of like this cream color so I'm either gonna try to make a blanket or else a sweater out of it I have quite a few of them I think they were like three dollars or something I can't remember but I have but yeah I have three pounds of this mill end and it's all the same color so I think my plan was to make a um, blanket out of it and I think this is enough yarn. I looked up some patterns online when I was in the store. 
And the final two packs of yarn that I bought are this brown color. It's kind of like um, brown, but it has a little bit of flex of color in it. It's the homespun line. And again, if you're an enthusiast, six ounces, 170 grams, 185 yards, or 169 meters. And it is a five, number five bulky yarn. Um, so this plan is to make another sweater as well. Um, and then the sweater pattern I'm going to use for each of them. Um, there were two of them in here, and this book was a um, dollar, I think. Um, but yeah, this one is, um, they had one that was like a, where is it, crew neck, and there was also a sweater in here that was not a crew neck, like a boat neck, I think. Yeah, so I have the easy pullover and then the boat neck sweater. So I'm gonna try to make both of those. <laughs> Check back with me in a decade, we'll see how much I get done. But yeah, that was everything I got for my $70 at the yarn store. Um, if I am actually able to produce anything, I think that I definitely got my money's worth because I usually spend like $30 to $50 per sweater. And then blankets are usually about $20 to $30 as well. So I think if I am able to make two sweaters and a blanket and then something else, I got my money's worth. Especially because this book will help me make whatever I want in the future as well. Okay, so transitioning to the American Dream Mall. This is from A-Land. Um, so A-Land is like one of my favorite Korean stores. It's like, I think it like usually focuses on new designers, but it's like very much my style. So it's like, I mean, I think you can buy things with logos and graphics on them, but personally I gravitate towards it because it's a lot of very plain clothes. Um, so I was so excited when I saw this store was in the American Dream Mall. So I was curious to see what it was like, because actually I didn't know they were in America, but I guess there's like also a store in Brooklyn. I just didn't know about it because I'm not cool enough. Um, so I bought a few things. I paid $88 for it. So actually the funny thing is, is I basically bought the same outfit as I went in wearing. So I bought a black shirt. So this is like their own line here is the 3.3 field trip. Um, but yeah, this one is like a nice kind of viscose. I think that's the textile. I don't even know if you can call it textile. Oh, okay, it's po polyester. So anyway, it seems like a really nice shirt. It's very plain, but it has a little bit of texture to it. And I thought this would be nice for layering. Um, it's also a nice length. And um, the one thing I would say is that um, most of the clothes at A-Land are kind of one size. So make sure you try them on if you're not sure if this would fit you. Um, but I think that this was reasonably priced. Um, it was $19.99. And I think when I bought shirts in A-Land before, um, some of my favorite shirts that I wear a lot are from A-Land and I bought them probably like seven years ago and I'm still wearing them. Um, so I think this was a good investment. The next item here is a sweater. Um, so it is finally going to be sweater weather, hopefully soon. This was very inexpensive in my opinion. It was $29, it's beige. And again, this one is one size, I think. Yeah, it's one size. It's a Oh, it was actually labeled incorrectly in here, so I got a deal. It says it was a, a ribbed tee. It is not a ribbed tee. This is a sweater, so I thought this was really nice. It's a nice beige color. I'm trying to change up my colors a little bit, trying to get a little bit less dark, uh, but I thought it was going to be very cozy and still look okay. So it has like a little bit of a slit on the side, but I don't think it's a T. <laughs> Leave me a comment below if you think this is a T. Um, but yeah, this was what I purchased, and I really like it. And then the final item that I purchased, um, I, I need to quit buying pants. I have way too many pants and they're all kind of the same. This is $39. They are free one size. Um, they are wide leg pull on slacks and they like have like the cooling feature. Um, so they also have pockets. So I thought that was a bonus. But yeah, this is what they look like. Um, I was very excited to find these because I've been looking for similar ones that I had when I was living back in Korea. I was dumb and I threw them away by accident, or not threw them away, I put them in the green bin. Um, but yeah, the ones that I kept were not the ones that I meant to keep. Um, leaving Korea was such a disaster in many ways, so yeah, I lost my favorite blue sh pant, uh, shorts too, I kept the wrong blue shorts. So yes. Very excited with my purchases. I think that they're very basic, but they're able to be kind of changed for multiple different occasions. So moving on. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next thing. Um, so let me just do these just to get them out of the way. So I purchased these over the past couple of weeks at some thrift stores here in New York. Um, so I went to a bookstore yesterday when I was waiting for a broker to arrive at the apartment I was gonna view. And this one is How to Wash a Chicken. 
Um, so this is a book about how to do business presentations. So I feel like I haven't really gotten that much training in it just because in my career I've kind of um, jumped over some levels that I'm supposed to have done before I got to the level I was working in. Um, so actually I've never had to make my own PowerPoints. Um, I've done it for like a couple of like just training sessions so it's just basically very basic but in terms of business presentations I've always had an intern or somebody else who do it for me um, so I have bought this book it was eight dollars I checked online and that was like the going rate so I decided to support local and do um, the purchase is from West Sider Books and this is on the Upper West Side. If you are interested, they have so much stuff. Um, so I have the footage from the inside of the store and it'll be on a future vlog, but yeah. Um, it kind of seemed like it was a really well-received book, so I purchased this because I think it'll be helpful. The next thing in here is from... The next few things in here I bought from Housing Works last week. Um, so basically I have been looking for these produce containers, but I just don't want to buy them online. Um, so I picked one up and I think it was like super cheap. Yeah, it was $8. Um, so this one typically I think goes for $20. So since it was there, I figured I would pick it up. The one thing is that it is slightly broken. It has like a little bit of a chip in the handle here. Sorry, that fell down but it is otherwise brand new. Um, so I'm very excited to have this to finally keep my leafy produce in so it'll hopefully last longer. Um, I've heard great things about this product so leave a comment below if you tried it out. The other thing is a little bit weird, um, but this is a wireless Mighty Mouse for, for like Apple products. Um, so I do have like a Bluetooth mouse, not a Bluetooth, I have a USB mouse, um, but like it doesn't really like working with my Mac, so I decided to buy this. It, even if it doesn't work, it's fine. It was $10, but if it does work, it's really great. Um, so this is the older bottle, which is fine because again, it was $10. I think Mighty Mice are usually like $100 or something crazy, um, but it's just like simple like this. Um, I've used one in the past and I really do like it, um, but it was like the newer model, but for $10, I may as well try this uh, because it'll help with editing because I have issues with editing because um, I'm left-handed, so but everything on the Mac has to be right-handed. Called customer service, they said, oh, why are you left-handed people having difficulties? It's because like, it's hard to do things with your right hand when you're left-handed. Um, so I think this will help me a little bit um, with some of the accuracies in when I'm doing things with the mouse. And then the final thing I purchased, again, what I said earlier, um, I need to quit buying these pants because they're all very similar. But I've been actually looking for this color linen pant for a very long time. It's kind of like a brown color. Um, it doesn't actually match this shirt, so I don't know why it looks like that on the monitor. Um, but it is like a brown wide leg um, linen pant. It's from Eileen Fisher. I paid $30 for it. And I did try it on in the store. They did not look like pajama pants, which is like the major issue I have just because of my body shape and my proportions. Sometimes they look like pajama pants if I buy wide leg pants. Um, but these looked pretty good and they also have pockets. And Eileen Fisher is a really great brand. And I think these ones are also organic. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, this is what I purchased. And very excited to finally wear these as well. Oh, I just remembered there's one more thing. Let me show you. So this is the other thing I bought recently. Um, so this is also from a thrift store, so it was used, but this is a J. Crew blazer. It's a wool blazer. Um, personally, I've been wanting to buy one of these since college, but they're like kind of expensive actually. I think they're like $275. Um, so I bought mine for $35. It's a little bit big, it's a size four, um, but I thought for this price it was a great value. Plus um, it fit over the sweater I was wearing that day, so I figured it would be great for layering in the winter and things like that. Um, but yeah, I checked everything, the seams look great and everything like that. Um, honestly, I'm probably not going to dry clean this <laughs> just because it was $35. Um, so if I would have paid the full $275, maybe I would dry clean it. I don't know. I'm kind of too much for <laughs> dry cleaning. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited with this. Everything looks like in great condition and everything like that. So um, my friend and I found this in the Soho um, Housing Works um, location. It's right next to the bookstore. That's the same ho Housing Works location as well. Um, so Housing Works is probably one of my favorite thrift shops just because I feel like they have a little bit more of a curation, but maybe that's just me um, talking on my butt. But yeah, I, I'm very excited with this purchase and let me keep going on. Okay, so we are basically up in the Adirondacks slash Lake George, Lake Placid, um, everywhere in between. Um, so I picked up this, um, it had like a good recipe in it, it's just a free magazine, um, but it had a lot of info about the small businesses in the area, um, in the capital district, so that's like around Albany. So we also went to Saratoga Springs um, and have some stuff from there. 
So let me just show you. Um, so this is the potato chip segment. So, so Saratoga Springs or Saratoga area is like actually the inventor of the kettle chips. So I bought some to pay homage to that. So I got the original flavor, just a small one, just because I knew I had a lot of potato chips. Um, but yeah, this one is the Himalayan salt. But my friend was like, you have to go to Saratoga because they are the home of potato chips and she knew I love potato chips. The next two things are not small business, but basically when I was at the grocery store buying water, best like $2 I paid in my entire life. It was like a 24 pack of water for $2. It was crazy. Um, so yeah, I bought some Pringles. So I hadn't seen either of these flavors and honestly I thought the Wendy's um, the spicy chicken sandwich one was like gone gone, um, but I found it there. I mean, if it's good, I probably should have bought like 18 of them. They had a whole entire shelf of them. Um, and then I also decided to try the chili and lime. Again, I'll probably do a taste test eventually. Um, probably not all at one time just because I'm a single person. I don't want them to go stale, but I'll probably put a bunch of clips together. The next item I got at a welcome center, it was also the capital region. Uh, so they are kind of refurbishing a bunch of the welcome centers, aka rest stops in the I-87 area. So the one that we stopped in at the capital area had like a large, um, like Taste of New York sort of welcome center thing. Um, so basically it was like a convenience store, but it was all stuff from the region. Um, so I bought a bunch of potato chips. So I got these North Fork potato chips. I think they're from Long Island, um, but this one is a sweet potato. This one is, what one is this? I think this is just original flavor. And then this one is the sour cream and onion. They also had one that was like matzo, but I couldn't find it in the store, except for in big bags. And again, I didn't want to buy it. And it's from New York, so I figured I could just buy it sometime if I go to the store in person um, to go pick it up. It was like matzo and it was like original flavor. There was like harissa flavor and I can't remember the third one. Um, but it sounded nice, but I also like, anyway, it's from New York City, so I can just pick it up anytime I want. Okay, the next two items here, my mom and I went to a wine tasting at the Adirondack Winery in Lake George. Um, honestly, not my favorite wine. Um, by that I mean, I think it's for a particular demographic and I am not in that demographic. So personally, I am not a huge wine drinker, but if I do, it's usually like French wines. Um, and it's usually just like whatever they give me at events. <laughs> I'm not super picky, but all I can tell you is that these were like very much let me just tell you the demographic that was in there and then maybe you can surmise your own definition of it. It was basically a lot of like Long Island wine moms in there being like, oh my God, I love this. But it was like all fruit blends. The only one that was like somewhat good was like this blend of all the reds together. But in my opinion, a wine shouldn't be good only if you blend it with a bunch of other wines, but that's just my opinion. But we did do the tasting, so we got some wine glasses. So my mom didn't want hers, so she gave it to me. Let me just show you one. Yeah, but this is what it looks like. It does need to be washed. It probably should not have been sitting in my hallway for like two weeks. <laughs> so let me wash that after this. Now I have two wine glasses that look like this. Both of them severely in need of a wash. However, I would say that if you do want to check it out, I think it was like $10 a person for the tasting. All the info will be in the vlog when I eventually get there. Um, but yeah, that was from the Adirondack Winery. They also had like a foodie plate and honestly, it sounded impressive on the um, board. I considered upgrading us, but um, when my mom and I saw them putting it out, my mom especially was like, no, it's not worth that $20. Um, it, it looked a little bit sad, to be honest. Um, but that is just my opinion because they called it a foodie plate. I thought it was going to be a little bit more spectacular, but it was not. Um, but yeah, the, that is from the Adirondack Winery. Just based on my own experience, it is my own opinion. A few items, also some food items. So these are both foodie items from small businesses or maybe small businesses. I actually am kind of wondering about this. So if you have any information about why there are so many olive oil companies <laughs> in that region, let me know. There's also like a Saratoga Spring one too. And that one actually had an outlet store. So if we would not have already gone in hard with the Lake George Olive Oil Company, maybe we would have stopped there on our drive to Saratoga. Um, but yeah, let me just show you what I got. And this one is some spices. Oh man, there was a coupon. <laughs> This one is the Lake George Olive Oil Company, and it says over 50 imported olive oils and aged vinegars on tap. Um, it's very impressive, actually. There are two locations. I went to the one um, in the main street in Lake George. It's on 283 Canada Street, um, but there's also one in Glens Falls, which is right next to Lake George. 
Um, but let me show you. I actually went and purchased two balsamic vinegars just because um, I can buy infused olive oil pretty easily here, but I haven't seen these particular infusions of balsamic vinegars in a while slash ever. I don't know what happened to the color balance, but something happened to it, so I apologize that it happened somewhat in this video without me noticing. I tried to fix the color balance, it did not fix it, so I don't know what happened to my light, but something definitely happened. Um, so yeah, I got these two flavors. Um, so they have a lot of samples in there. Actually, you can sample every flavor of olive oil and every flavor of balsamic. They had a lot of really great options. It's just that these seem like the ones that I personally would use the most. I got the aged cinnamon pear balsamic vinegar, and this one was super delicious. I didn't even know I liked pear that much, but this was so good. And I think it'll be delicious on like basically everything, like basically salads. Um, I think in the little tasting info here, it says like salads, marinades, or whatever it says also as a dessert topping if you're into desserts i think this would be nice on ice cream basically um i don't eat ice cream but if i did this would be a nice topper i also got the honey ginger white balsamic vinegar and this one is um this one was really strongly flavored and i thought it would be really nice for basically all of my recipes that i make <laughs> just off the top of my head like all of the tofu stuff and all the vegetables it says it is um marinade salads or tossed with sesame noodles so I figured that would be nice too because I've been craving sesame noodles myself and every time I make them at home they're never as flavorful as when I go to the store by that I mean the restaurant so I figured this might be a nice thing to try um but yeah I got both of these and then in terms of this one let me show you um so this was from a spice store slash cafe that I found online when we were just leaving um so we stopped here before we went to Saratoga Springs this was a um it was actually quite nice. They like package their own spice mixes in store and it had like a really nice cafe and tea set up as well. I think that they package their tea as well in store as well. Um, so I said as well a lot, sorry about that. Um, so I got three, they were kind of expensive but I think that they tasted or sounded good. It's $8.50 each but um, let me show you. So this is from Rachel's Spice Company in Glens Falls. So I got the Adirondack Sunrise. So this one, let me give you the info. It says, hand blended from fine sea salt, smoked sweet paprika, ground black pepper, thyme, rosemary, granulated garlic, and ancho pepper. It says, it's a great Adirondack woodsy flavor, smoky with a touch of herby spice. You use one tablespoon per pound of chicken or fish. High peaks addition to eggs, meatballs, burgers, and potatoes. Um, so I thought this would be great for some of my cooking as well. And then I also got the fire pepper blend. And this one here is hand blended from black pepper, garlic, a habanero, orange zest, onion, chipotle, and marjoram. And it's great for scrambled eggs, omelets, pizza, pork chops, soups, stews, and vegetables. Can be used as a rub for chicken or pulled pork and will add some zip to burgers, oven roasted wings, or grilled shrimp. So very versatile. And then the final one that I got is the smoky citrus salt. And this one says it's hand blended from sea salt, orange, lemon, black pepper, smoked hickory, salt, lime, and ginger. It's good for use on grilled fish or chicken, shrimp, stir fries, roasted, vegetal, roasted vegetables, and even on the rim of a margarita glass. So I figured this one would be nice as well. Um, so I, I'm very happy with these purchases. And then I have one final thing, not exciting. Um, but basically, we went to the outlet mall um, just to kind of to see if I can get things for work. The only mall we originally went to was in like Central Valley or something like that. It's like the big one and it's Woodbury Commons, Woodbury Premium, I don't remember. Um, I always get confused because there's also a large Olive Mall in Woodbury, Minnesota, but this one is in New York. Anyway, so the only thing I purchased there, I did a lot of pricing out for um, suitcases. I need a suitcase, but the problem is, is I don't know where I'm going to be business traveling. And so I know that the European restrictions are very strict about um, whether or not you can take on carry-ons or whatever. Um, anyway, so I've been using Air France as the one that is like the most conservative in terms of restrictions. The only thing I bought there was from Banana Republic and I just got some basics for layering. So I haven't bought some updated layering pieces in a while and they have this like really nice collection of very neutrals um so I got one with some wider straps I'm not entirely sure if this will be super good it's a little bit of a weird cut and then I also got two with the spaghetti straps one is like a darker brown and one is kind of like more of a beigey pink brown um but yeah these are what I bought and then <laughs> there was also an outlet mall in Lake George basically 
could have just spent the whole time on Lake George because they also had a Banana Republic. Um, but actually the Banana Republic outlet in Harlem that I went to last week, I think, um, they didn't have these tanks, so I don't know if this is like a special thing. But basically, at the Lake George outlet, I also went to, um, they had um, L.L. Bean. So I really like L.L. Bean. I'm like such an old white lady, but um, yeah, they had like um, a lot of really great stuff there. A lot of them are returns. Some of them are discontinued items, but it's not like a made for factory outlet sort of situation like it is for a lot of the other places at outlet malls. Um, so I got this L.L. Bean signature extra small um, pullover. Um, just because it felt really nice and I think I got it for like $30 which I thought was a really great price it comes with like their guarantee or whatever as well um, and then it's really thick and it has pockets as well <laughs> so I, I love pockets so yeah I don't have anything like this with this sort of collar so I thought this would be a nice thing to give it a go it also seemed very warm and cozy for winter and things like that so that is everything I purchased in the past month looking at my um, apartment right now. Man, I purchased way too much stuff. Um, so I'm gonna have to try to find a way to put them into my closets and my cabinets, etc. Shouldn't be too bad, but yeah. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.